question for all of you that's out here. Give me Micah 2 and 10. Are you happy with the conditions that you're living in as a people? Because the last time I checked, we as a people, we're living in the slums and the ghettos. We're in the projects. Right. Lies high, first fire, right. shot down in the street. Families destroyed, houses destroyed. Is this, is this a land of milk and honey? Is this, is this the place that we should be loving? Read it! Read that. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So understand, you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. This is not your rest. This is not the land of milk and honey. This is not a place that you should be revering. Yes, right. This is not a place you should be loving. Right. Not a place you should be trying to save. This place was built on death and murder and genocide and the slavery of our people. Yes, right. Do you understand? This is not your rest. Read it again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not your rest, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Bring it out. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. The problem is, is that you don't know who you are. Right. You call yourself black, that's a color in the crayon box. You call yourself African American, that's two white men. Preach. From ancient days. You don't know who you are. You gotta wake up and come back to your true nationality of who you are, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. The ox knoweth his owner. So a dumb ox knows who his owner is, read. And the ass, his master's crib. Read. You so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, you don't know who you are. Bring it on. You don't know your God-given name. You don't know your purpose on this earth. So That's many people right. say, well, what is my purpose? What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is, for you Israelites, is to rule the planet. That's, That's right. right. That's your meaning. Read. My people does not consider. Our people don't know, and a lot of our people don't give a damn. Right. They don't know, and they don't care. All they know is, I get money, I got a job, I got a roof over my head, I got my I got my I get drunk on Saturday night, that's the only matter. Is that living for you? Freedom! Is that living for you? You know I said 30 and 1. Is that it? Because if that's all into life, you might as well hang it up. What? It's getting drunk every night, smoking, weed, fornication, Doing the sins of this world, is that it for your life? No. You gotta come out of all of this and stop trusting in this place that was built on genocide, murder, rape, and the destruction of your people. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children! You know what the Bible says? Woe, meaning destruction to you rebellious Israelites. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. You are God's chosen people. That's God right. says woe to you. Read. Saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. You take counsel of everything but God. You trust in democracy. You trust in that flag. Right. You trust in voting. Right. You trust in everything but God. Preach. Right. Read. And they cover with a covering, Read. but not of my spirit. You cover up a covering, but not a God spirit. You know the covering you cover up? You cover up God bless America. You cover with the covering of the Christianity. Everybody's all the same, man. We're all going to be saved. God loves everybody, John 316. You cover in a covering, but not a God. Read. That they may add sin to sin. When you break God's Sabbath, that twitches today with Bible. And clean it on the Lord's day, you add sin to sin. That's right! Read. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not cast in my mouth. You trust me. You understand? In your communities, you have the other nations that have set up shop and they suck the blood out of your people. That's they suck right. the blood out of you. And you can care less. in the lives of Pharaoh, right. in the lives of this place. Right. Come out of this place. Give me that Revelation 18 and 4. Understand, you got to wake up out of the conditions. Wake up out of the sleep that you're in. You are God's chosen people. 
You are above the conditions that you're living in. Preach! You are above the oppression that you're in. You are above the, the affliction that you're in. Come out of all of this. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. You know, God is telling you, you so called Israelites, you Israelites, you so called blacks and Spanish, come out of her. Come out of the ways of this world. And, and what? Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So that we are not partakers of the sins of this world. Today is the Sabbath day. No buying, selling, cooking, working. It's a day of rest. But you are breaking your necks to go in here and buy at these stores. You are breaking your necks to go in here and, and, and perpetuate and keep the money going into these other nations. Freedom! And guess what? They take the money and go back to their communities. They take the money and go back to their communities. They don't care less about any of you. That's Preach. why when you go in their stores, that's why you, when you do this thing, they say, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and get what you're going to get and get out. That's right. They want your money, but they can care less about good customer service. Bring it up. Read. And that ye receive not of her plague. And contrary to co uh, popular belief, America is not going to last. That's Every great right. nation on this earth has felt fallen. You understand? Right. And America is on its way out. That's right. Preach. Turn off the NBA. Turn off the NFL. Turn off basketball wise. Turn, Turn off right. Empire. Right. Turn off that foolishness on TV and pay attention. Because this place is on its way out. Bring it out. Bring it Read it again. Jeez. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God is telling you to come out of this place before it's destroyed. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So that we are not partakers of the sins of this place. And that ye receive not of her plagues. We do not receive of the sword plagues and destruction that's coming to America. That's coming to all these places that have oppressed us for centuries. Read. For her sins have reached unto heaven. So all these sins that we keep doing, adding sin upon sin, has reached up to the Heavenly Father. And he is sick of it. Sick of it. Preach! You understand? This place is not going to last. It's not going to last. The question is, are you going to go down with it? There's more. Read. And God has remembered her iniquities. And God remembers the iniquities. Understand, you might forget, but God remembers all of this. Give me Joel 3 and 2. God remembers all of this. Because these other nations have had a part in our oppression, and still do, and still do have a part in our oppression. But we just keep going along and going along and say, oh, but don't affect me. Guess what? It does affect you, and it will keep affecting you. Read that. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So the Bible says, understand, all nations are going to be brought down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the valley of the de decision. That's when the destruction is going to come on this earth. Read. And will plead with them there for my people. So understand, God says he's going to plead with them for his people. That means plead with fire. Do you understand? He's bringing fire on this earth. Read. And for my heritage, Israel. And for his heritage, Israel. God is only dealing with you so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans. But you don't know and you don't care. You don't consider. You understand? Parted God's lands. Read. And they have cast lots for my people. And guess what? These other nations have cast lots for you. You understand? Put you on slavery. Put you on auction blocks. Guess what? That's not just the white man. The Arab had that had that same thing happen to you in the trans in the sub-Saharan slave trade. Preach. You understand? That's why they have no problem setting up shop in your communities to oppress you, to get money out of you, suck the blood out of you, and go back to their communities and laugh at you. 
They're laughing at you, so-called blacks and Hispanics. Right. They're laughing at you. Read. And they're giving a boy for a harlot. Read. And so they go for wine. Because what these other nations would do, the so-called white men and the Arab, they would put our people in slavery. They would take the men and make them eunuchs and take the women and turn them into harlots and turn them into whores. You understand? What is what is these other what are these African nations and what do these other nations period have to do with God? You understand? God is only dealing with you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. You are above the conditions that you're living in. You are above the, 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 the oppression that you're going through. Wake up. Give me uh, Romans uh, 1311. Wake up. Bring it up. Wake up. Bring it up. This is not living. This is not life. Living, going from paycheck to paycheck is not life. Not knowing where your next meal is coming from, not life. Having to go to other nations for everything, food, water, shelter, everything is not living. That's right. It's not living. You're existing. It's not living. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And then knowing the time, that now it is my time to awake out of sleep. Now you Israelites, it's high time for you to awake out of sleep. But guess what? These other nations want to put you back to sleep. That's why they play that cool jigaboo watermelon music to put your behind back to sleep. Oh, That's why they that you are called. Right. You're the Israelites. You are God's right. people on this earth. Right. You understand? You are the ruler. Give me that second answer of six. Six, uh, six and 54. Understand, the condition that you're in, you're not supposed to be in. You are supposed to be ruling. Why? Because God is dealing with you. God only cares about you. The only reason you're in these conditions is because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed, and rebellious children. We want to do what we want to do. So because you want to do what you want to do, that's why you're in the conditions that you're in. That's why your last high first fire. That's why your children are shot down in the street. That's why you have no job, no businesses in your community. That's why our families are destroyed. That's why we have we we have to we have subjugated to oppressors over us. Read. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou mayest hold of all thy creatures. that come from him. That's you so-called blacks and fetters and native Indians. Come back to who you truly are. Come back to your true nationality, your true heritage. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. No, the world was made for everybody. Because thou madest the world for our sake. You hear what the Bible says, you blacks and Spanish and native Indians? The world was made for you. Right. But you suck, but you you happy with a corner. Teach. You happy with a corner. But the whole planet Earth was made for you. Bring it out. As for the other people. As for the other people. The so-called white men, uh, the so-called Arabs, Japanese, all of them are other people. Bring. Which also come of Adam. Bring. Thou hast said that they are nothing. God said he's not dealing with anybody but you Israelites. God chose the people. That's it. He's not dealing with them. Read. But be like unto spittle. But they're like unto spittle. Means they are nothing. Nothing. God is not dealing with these other nations. God is dealing with you. That's why. Yes, 
and not in any of the same horrible conditions that you live in every city and state and country on this planet Earth. They're not in it. Let them know. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all the collection of all of them is just one little drop in the bucket that means nothing to God. Read. Right. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, these heathen, these other nations that God ain't dealing with, read, which have ever been reputed as nothing, and God always gave them a reputation of nothing, read, have begun to be lords over us. And now they're lords over us. Give me Lamentation 5 and 1. Now they're lords over us. Where are the businesses in our community? You mean to tell me you could get someone who's an immigrant who just came into this country, they set up shop in your community, and now all of a sudden they are making You are under curses because we broke God's laws. Read. The Book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Read. Consider and behold our reproach. And behold our reproach. The reproach of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. And guess what? Our inheritance on this planet Earth is now to strangers. That's why they have no problem setting up businesses in our communities. That's why they have no problem doing any of the things that they do. Guess what? That's why whenever they shoot you down in the street, guess what? Nothing happens. Nothing happens when you get shot down on the street. They say, oh, just another Negro dead. So what? The first question I That's because your inheritance is gone to straight. Our houses to aliens. And now our houses go to aliens. These other nations are aliens. God ain't dealing with them. That's strange people. Read. We are orphans and fatherless. We are orphans and fatherless. You understand? Our, Read. Our mothers are as widows. And our mothers is as widows. Why? Because there's no men in our household. There's no middle, there's no men in our household. Our households are completely destroyed. And y'all, y'all have no problem with that. Y'all are perfectly fine with that. Read. We have drunken our water for money. And now our resources we have to pay for. Water falls freely from the sky, but you gotta pay for it. Bring it out! Your resources, because this planet Earth is supposed to be yours. Everything is supposed to be a subjection to you. Now you have to pay for it. Three. Our wood is sold unto us. And now our wood, our resources, is sold to us. When it's supposed to be ours in the first place. Three. Our necks are under persecution. And our necks are under persecution. We labor. This is and growing no to a certain rest. extent, but I'd like to give you good news that there is a revival of religion. What job does don't do it? You got to work two jobs now, sometimes three. Bring it Do you understand? You labor with no rest, Israel. You so-called blacks and Spanish, wake up. Come back to who you truly are. Come back to your true nationality. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to get better. It's only going to get worse. You trusting in the you trusting in the ways of this world, trusting in the oppression of this of this place, it's only going to bring you hurt. It's only going to bring you pain. It's of no profit to you at all. Give me uh, First Peter 2 and 9. Understand, you are better than the conditions that you're in. You are God chosen people. You are the greatest people on this planet. Read that. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. So we, you so called black, Spanish, Native Americans, you are a chosen seed, a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. Royal priesthood. That's who you are. When a person suffers anxiety, or sometimes when they have engaged in lots of sin, they begin to suffer anxiety. A holy nation. A holy nation. That's who you are as a people. You're not these conditions that you're living in. You're not this low estate as a people. You're better than this. But you have to come back to your true nationality, to who you truly are. Give me that, uh, give me Nehemiah 10 and uh, 30. The person begins to think, where am I going? Right now, we're not supposed to be 
and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So now these curses are upon us for a sign and a wonder. Do you understand? A sign and for a wonder. Because guess what? These other nations that come from other countries, they come over and say, man, how is it that these people have been here for so long and they live so low? How is it that they come over? We come over here and we set up shop in a year or two. And we're prospering, but these people been over here forever and they're still in this low state. A sign and a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. We are children forever. Understand? So we have to come back and start keeping God's laws and come out of the conditions that we're in, come out of the sins that we're in. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.